Yes. Are you going to help? Hey, big fella. You going to help show everybody what we found? Hey, friends. Today, I am sharing a trash picking thrift store clearance haul with you uh, over, that I've probably accumulated over the last oh, hey, moose, month or two. I, you know what? Let's just say two months just because I know some of it's a little bit longer ago, but I didn't go out a lot, especially to the thrift stores like I used to, uh, obviously because of COVID. And I started to kind of wander out a little bit more, feeling more comfortable. And I thought I have got some major haul to share with you guys. And I think I love, well, I know I love watching people's hauls, especially uh, upcycle items on YouTube. And I thought maybe you guys would appreciate it in the sense, not that we're reselling anything, but in the sense that we're, we're using it and actually finding purpose for something again. And before I continue, I just wanted to show you guys the background. What you're seeing here is part of our Christmas and July decor. I'm still doing the tablescape, but I thought I've got some incredible stuff that I just got and I'm just pumped. So while I have stuff here, I have a pile in my garage that is all found in people's trash. Like literally stuff I pulled out of people's trash and trash day. So let me go show you that because I think you're going to be really surprised. So as I'm recording this, we're getting the first uh, set of rain from Tropical Storm Elsa here in Florida. So it's kind of cool. I mean, as much as a Florida could be cool. So I, all of this stuff here in this section is all stuff that I've taken out of people's trash recently, like the last month or so, probably less than that. But, uh, and, and this mirror, which is awesome. So took the mirror I'm gonna need to move it though because I'm worried about the wind and just to be clear a lot of the reason I take stuff out of the trash is one because it's free so obviously there's that but two because I hate seeing perfectly good stuff get thrown out that could be donated or given to a charity shop or a rescue center or something that could reuse it like there are a lot of people in need right now uh, probably more than ever honestly with the way things have been going like somebody can use this stuff and just because people are too lazy to donate or whatever I don't know trying to plus one for the universe here and and like obviously yeah of course some of the stuff I want to use I don't do reselling or anything like that so I either use it or donate it but I thought let me just show you guys some of this is probably 95% of it there's some stuff that I've already like put away or donated or gave away or whatever but um, so, so like, okay, this set of boxes right here, I've already processed and, um, you saw the lights inside, which were those star lights that we saw hanging, um, in the backdrop. Amazing. They are older, but they work great. They're not LEDs, but whatever. They're not up all the time. Okay. These are two boxes full of Christmas lights that work. Uh, the bottom box, I pr I just retaped up because um, I just didn't want bugs getting into it. But it's all like green stranded lights. And it says, yeah, Christmas lights with green strands. And then these are all white strand isolated lights. And like some of these are still brand new. Um, they're not LEDs or anything, which is fine. But like there's a whole bunch of blue icicle lights and then the bottom there's like regular clear icicle lights but like they're all perfectly fine and somebody was just like nope I'm good so gonna reuse those for sure um and that came from a house that I'm pretty sure somebody make me like there might have been an older person or something lived in there that they were cleaning it out because there was piles and piles of stuff in there and I also picked up like these vintage contact papers from there which I love but I think I looked at the date and it was from like yeah 1982 so I don't know if they still work but they I just thought the print was so cute and like I could do something with that so those are the lights that we got in the trash like you do and then okay I'm gonna pull these pool noodles out but like they look like they were never used which is kind of awesome and you're like why are you getting pool noodles well I'll tell you why guys because it's July and that means we're halfway through the year to Christmas and you can use pool noodles for so much Christmas stuff and I never really have any that I want to you know, like if I can do anything with so I was like cool like you can make so much stuff um, like especially the Christmas wreaths and garlands 
um, plus my Ansley stand that uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but I have a super cool like Bridgerton inspired reading nook. I, I could cover part of this in the foam here and use them as like um, Oasis foam for flowers, for set flowers. Which brings me to this next one. Okay, so this box was just this box, um, and I had reboxed some of the stuff in that box, and there was another box um, that I ended up throwing out because it was what we're just sitting out, and I was like, they were t mostly taped up, and I was like, this is weird. There's brand new flowers for, so like, what is this Ashland? I think this is um, oh, this one's Hobby Lobby, but like, brand new never used and I was looking at the date and I don't know if you guys can see in there it says 2010 so like clearly somebody had this and just like left it in storage or whatever but this whole container oh yeah got this cute little like mini tree skirt which is adorable so I'm definitely gonna keep that but this whole container is just full of like random pretty stems that were never used they all have the um, tags on them for the most part and it looks like mostly fall stuff, but I didn't want to, I haven't taken it to do anything with, but like this topiary thing was in here and I was like, that's pretty great. So that's all in here. I just put this back in here, but there's all sorts of flowers that could be used for fall and stuff. And you know, they could probably use a good dusting, but for the most part, like you can, like so flowers are expensive, even when they're, you know, 50% off. Uh, so I figured, like, I don't know what some of this stuff is from. I don't, I don't recognize some of the labels, but I don't really care. I could use it for something. And I will. So I got this box out of the trash. And then, oh, this box. I, I'm mad about it, but I'm not mad about it. So I got Artist Palette. Never used before adult coloring books, like stress coloring books or whatever, which are really pretty. Um, like this one's, this one's got a lot of great stuff in it. But anyways, I have a friend who's going to probably love these, but it had some like old, I think paper from like those albums, like scrapbook albums or whatever. Honestly, I'm going to end up donating a lot of this stuff. We have a, one of those free like little bright, like neighborhood libraries and we have a lot of kids in our neighborhood, but these are all like craft and school supplies. So I'm going to go through and sort a lot of these pencils and stuff and like I started putting some of them in baggies but some kid is going to be able to use some of this stuff when they go back to school in the fall like there's a label maker in there there's colored pencils so somebody's going to be able to use that for school so I'm going to end up donating I think almost all of this here um there's also like an absurd number of sticky pads I have no idea why but somebody probably bought them in bulk at Costco and never used them all so we have that. Um, like I said, most of this is going to be donated. Uh, I haven't checked like if these books are worth anything. Like I said, I'm not a reseller, so I don't really know. But um, I took them out of the trash mostly because they just they look pretty. And I had got another one uh, so of this Reader's Digest set from like I don't know if it's the same year or anything from the same house that I got those lights from that I already put away on my bookshelf that just look pretty but they're just really nice pretty books that are vintage and um I was like okay that's cool and then there's this book which I think somebody must have got on a trip but it says 101 uh Celtic myths and legends so I was like I can get into that like that's a fun book to have but like just some nice vintage books that are always pretty uh, most of this bin is going to be donated. There's a lot of hats and gloves. I can't tell if, like, I don't think this is real leather. It's, it has a, a label inside. Uh, let me see if I can find it for you guys. That me, yeah, here it is. It makes it look really old. I think it said it was like vinyl and something else. I don't know. I live in Florida, but there's a ton of gloves, a ton of scarves. I washed one scarf that I really liked that honestly the puppy's going to use, but there's like Mickey Christmas hats in here. Uh, there's a lot of traveling tchotchkes. Whoever donated this had a hound that they clearly loved. Um, and at the bottom of the box down here, there's a bunch of photo frames from like traveling uh, adventures that this group clearly had, but I don't want to show you guys because I still have the family photos in them. 
but there's like random rockers in here and like like a random fancy tassel but i'm like i don't know but like somebody might need it at goodwill i don't know or donate it but like there's a lot of like random figurines that are i don't know of dogs and stuff so i just like you know i don't need this this one's christmas glass ornaments so this whole box is just gonna go straight to goodwill uh again part of the same group that had this stuff so i was like i don't know what's going on but anyways uh that same group had like these bases which they're in bubble wrap right now because they were in bubble wrap so if somebody clearly saw them and was like whatever but um the bottom of them says made in the philippines i don't recognize the label they're not really my style so i'm probably just going to donate them to like a women's shelter or something this one had a kirkland's tag on the bottom of it so it's not like they're super fancy picture stand you can never have too many of those uh these are all shatterproof ornaments which came from a different house uh that actually still i got this bright like pretty much brand new christmas tree that was from walmart but whatever it's got multicolor lights so i got a brand new pretty much i think it was used probably once and it had a tree skirt and stuff in there which i left in there just for packaging but i was like what's going on but i think the house ended up being put for sale anyways um there's literally a bag from kirkland's with the receipt in it and these string lights which were clearly never used i was like that's great i found this peter rabbit statue which was broken so i might try to fix it that's not my strong suit but it's a pretty nice figurine there's no markings on it but i kind of i kind of dig it there's this Hammy Kaleidoscope, which is very pretty. I just use for decoration. Found a candle holder. And then this jar I found, and it was clearly from somebody's trip to Mexico. Uh, it's a little chipped, but it says Mexico on the bottom. And it's handmade. You know, somebody threw this on the wheel. So I might just donate it and see if, it, like, I don't want it. It's not my jam, but this pumpkin is. I like this pumpkin. And this doesn't look like anything fancy. Like it's probably Hobby Lobby or something. Like this little bird. But they're cool. And then these candlesticks. No idea where they're from. But they're pretty weighted. Um, there's no markings or anything on them. But I like them. So I might keep them for my full stuff. But yeah. You guys. All of this stuff. And our mirror. All of this stuff I've taken out of people's trash. Um, it really... Let me see if I if I'm looking at this like this is probably only two or three houses like got the Christmas tree Christmas stuff in one got a lot of this stuff in another and then I got the lights and some other stuff at a third so this was I mean granted these don't happen all the time but like this is a lot of stuff going to potentially the landfill that could be donated or given to somebody else or reused and then donated because I tend to do that where I I pick stuff up at Goodwill, use it a couple times, and then if it's something that I don't vibe with anymore, I don't mind donating it back or giving it to somebody who needs it or wants it um, if it's not my jam anymore. Like, I don't want to throw it out. So, this is all my stuff from the trash. This is all my trash pickings, which is crazy, but I'm happy it's here and not in the trash. So, let's move on to maybe the Goodwill stuff. Hi, Moose. You excited? Yeah, I was out in the garage, and then I came in, and now you're here. Yeah, you're here. Oh, and baby, baby boy, your big brother's here. Yeah, okay, we gotta show everybody all our stuff. So part of the reason I was driving around in the car was because it's been super hot here in Florida, and for the doggies' little toes, not to mention their fluffy coats, like, it's really hot out. So I figured they can get some sensory stimulation, just riding shotgun, or not really shotgun, but in the back seat while we drive around and we look at stuff. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I gotta play with my moosey. Hold on, moose. Those star lights that I told you we got from the trash pile? Yep. They're right here. They're not LED or anything, but they work great, and they look like little floating starfish. And speaking of stars, that tree topper that's kind of like iridescent-y, I guess you guys probably can't tell, but it's multicolor, but it's kind of got an iridescent finish. That came from the house that we got the Christmas tree from. So, I mean, 
I'm very happy they're not in the trash. And I will say the lights uh, also, this is the only stuff I think, well, that's, there might be a few other random things. Um, this set of glasses that's, I can't tell if it's original or the remake, but I really like this and I have a similar set in green. So that's pretty great. I had also got a bunch of baking supplies that I ended up um, giving to somebody who bakes a lot, uh, like trays and like molds and stuff. So, um, you know, nothing crazy for table purposes, which is really what I'm looking for is I'm looking for more home decor stuff. But, um, you know, if it's there and it looks good and I know somebody who could use it, I'll take it. But so moving on to like store haul, this is the only, I'll say the retail priced thing that I got. And it was $7.99 from Home Goods. And it's just a set of larger votives with like a cool green finish or blue green, or I guess it's more blue. Um, I bought it for a specific tablescape in mind, which I haven't gotten to yet, but I was just really happy that our home goods was open again and had plenty of fun inventory. And now that it's on the table, I'm like, well, maybe I should work it into my Christmas and July tablescape. We'll see. We'll see. I just, I've been looking for some larger photos and these are perfect. So, um, you can tell by the bags that there's a lot of Goodwill stuff here and I want to get to that, but really quick, I did a small um purchase at home oh i'm not home goods hobby lobby not too long ago like probably like a, a little bit probably like the oldest stuff here is from hobby lobby but um they were doing like a big clearance or i think there was clearance but i got this huge roll of vinyl uh with like this mirror finish on it um it's not like an exact mirror but it's a silver reflective and this whole roll was only a dollar 49 that's a lot and I have, I'm going to use it as a table runner. Like I saw it and I was like, yes, this is going to be an awesome table runner. And so that's what I'm going to be doing um, a table escape on, hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but it may or may not have something to do with Hogwarts. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but I was like, for $1.50, that's amazing. I couldn't, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of the final there, so... Uh, in that same purchase, I ended up getting uh, three rolls of this uh, fish scale sequins fabric trim, which in retrospect, I'm not sure how much of a great deal it was. Like it was originally, let's say $8 for a yard uh, and now it was $2 for a yard. So it was definitely reduced, but on the other hand, like $2 a yard, I think, I don't know, for sequins, I think that's, I don't know. I don't buy a lot of fabric, but I really liked it, and it unintentionally became part of my Christmas in July. Like, I bought this before I did Christmas in July, and obviously you can tell it goes perfectly with my Christmas in July theme. And if you check out the tablescape that I'm doing for Christmas in July, there's a lot. I'm, I used already a whole roll in it, and then part of this other roll. Uh, I also bought this ribbon and I don't normally buy ribbon that doesn't have wire on it just because I tend to use that more but this was two yards and it was originally seven dollars and then it was on clearance for a dollar seventy five but it had this kind of rainbow finish and I've actually I already opened this one and used it on a gift um, and I really liked how pretty it was it's a thicker ribbon so, like, we're not probably making bows or anything out of it, but as far as trim goes, and I actually thought about, like, finishing the edge of the tapestry with it, but I don't think I had enough uh, to get all the way around. But it's really cool. And it, so it was only $1.75 for these, $2 for these, and $1.75 somehow just for this giant roll. And I was like, that's pretty awesome. So I did consider... Um, part of the reason the main draw I had for this was because I probably won't do it this year, but I did have um, an inclination to do like a sugar plum fairy, kind of like iridescent-y Christmas, if that makes sense. Uh, so I thought this could be a really great addition for that if the time comes. Uh, so hopefully that might be a thing. Uh, so that's all of our non-trash Wait, no, we covered all the stuff that we picked from the trash bin. We covered the home goods. We covered the Hobby Lobby. And 
Oh man, the Goodwill stuff is real. I'll say that this is probably over several trips now. So it's not like I just got it all in one. Although I did have one haul like recently where like a lot of good stuff came. And I think there's a good chance it was probably from the same person because aesthetically. But anyways, we'll get into that. So let's start over here. Okay, these I'm super pleased about. I, they were literally still in the carts. And y'all know what I'm talking about if you've been to Goodwill where they have like the big carts that they stack all the bins up and then they were unloading it and people like me um, and pretty much, let's be honest, like everybody uh, is in there picking stuff before it even hits the shelves. And this tall one was already on the shelf and I saw this one and I was like, yep. And I looked to see if there was a third because I was like, oh, maybe there was like, but I couldn't find one. But these were pretty awesome. They were $5 each, which I normally wouldn't have probably, well, actually, no, I don't think they were $5 each because this one, I remember, yep, this one was only $3.99 and I told the girl at checkout, I was like, hey, why is this big one so much more? And she's like, oh, somebody probably priced it differently. I'll just, and she ended up just charging me $3.99 for both. So, but these were originally, um, you can see the tags, um, they still have TJ Maxx stickers underneath them. So I, I'm pretty confident they were probably never used or hardly used but I don't know if you can tell but there's definitely some like cubism stuff repeating itself here a little bit which I kind of unintentionally really am into but more importantly it definitely goes with my silver um runner and I was like you know what I have a plan for that I really like it we're gonna run with it so I got those uh and I figured oh hold on hello Wally you helping? Well, he's got a little bit of a boo-boo, so that's part of the reason we've been driving around, um, just being weird people driving around the neighborhood, because he, you can't see here, but his shoulder got infected from a bite, so, um, we can't, he can't walk real long anyways right now, so that's partially how we've got all this trash stuff, is just driving around, and he's, he's such a good baby, he just sits there and is like, yep, put it next to me in the seat, um, Okay, focusing. So the silver stuff, I figured I have a tablescape that I can, like a simple one that I can use these in, but the height of it to me isn't my like preferred choice. So I wouldn't necessarily have it for entertaining purposes, but if it's just me and my husband sitting at the table, like I, I don't mind having them be there because they wouldn't necessarily block our line of sight. But for those of you who are trash picking or thrifting or whatever, um, writing clearance racks for, uh, table or home decor. Uh, a big tip, what I would say is, you know, nothing more than maybe 10 to 12 inches is my general rule of thumb because you don't want to block line of sight across the table from anybody. So something to keep in mind, but I figured once I'm done with them on my table, I might make like a little arrangement when I'm like in between decorating and have it up here because this is kind of an awkward area for us to decorate anyway. So we'll see. Okay. So you guys are going to eye roll so hard when you see this and you're gonna be like, why are you so excited? Bear with me. Okay. So this is a stack, I think of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six plates. So they were a dollar a plate, but they're clear and they are un like textured. There's no textured, there's no pattern, there's nothing. I don't want to give spoilers away because the tutorial is gonna be coming. But I have been looking for plates like this for a plate decoration project for so long. So I snatched them up. So that's, I can't, I, I realize that you guys are like, they're clear plates. Trust me, I know, but they're helpful. All right, now this, this is my Goodwill receipt from the other day. Okay, this bag, it's got probably three or four of these burgundy, I'm not even sure what, I think they were curtains originally. This is what the, the tag said. There's nothing really helpful on here. I don't even actually know exactly how long they were, but they were, I think like five bucks a piece or something, but they were in pretty good condition. Um, I got this whole bag full of them. So there's several pairs, or I don't know there's several pairs. I think it, I wanna say there's like four or five of them in there. Um, the reason I got this though was because, 
is because was because uh, my Christmas theme for 2021 is going to be burgundy, apple green, and champagne. And burgundy is like you can find red, of course, but burgundy is a little bit harder to find. So I saw those and my mind just went crazy with all sorts of different possibilities you can do with them. I am so excited I found them. There was a lot of other burgundy stuff. Like I thought it was like maybe an FSU thing or something, but I think somebody just really liked burgundy. So I picked them up, really excited about them. And then this didn't seem like much and I get it. It's not that big of a deal, but it's just a little box with one missing piece. Um, I think I saw this. Uh, I can't remember. I could I saw this and I thought it was... Oh, Ashland. Yeah, it's from Michaels. Um, there's only one missing from it, but they're votives in a glass... Can, in Like, in little votive glasses already for three bucks. I'm like, I can't buy them for this much, even, like, with a clearance coupon and all that stuff. So, uh, and that leads us into this, which... Normally, not my style um, for a couple different reasons, but I do have a tablescape for fall that I'm going to be working on, and this is going to be the highlight of it. Um, so that's why I didn't mind paying. I think it was like 7 or $8 for it. Yeah, it was $8, uh, which is a little pricey, I think, by Goodwill standards, but it's in really good condition. All of the glass is here. None of it's broken, and I don't... One, I don't think it was ever used based on, like, what I can see inside here. And two, this, I guess, wrought iron or iron base, the metal base, is really sturdy, which makes me think it's a higher quality because it, some of the, like, not to knock, like, the Hobby Lobbies and Michaels and stuff of the world, but, like, some of the stuff when you pick them up here, they're just really light. And this one's, like, this requires two hands to pick up. It's heavy. So this all kind of goes together. And not related, but not, like, was not expecting to find these. And I am so excited, and I can't wait for spring. I found these little fairy, well, I don't know if they kind of fairy lights. I don't know where this person bought them from. I'm assuming it's an Amazon thing. But they bought these little butterfly lights with little fiber optic lights in them. And I plugged them in while I was in the store. They were five bucks. And they're novelty lights, but... Could you imagine if I, like, work them into some hanging piece up here for spring? Like a nice garland or something? I don't know. I have a couple ideas in mind, but, you know, it's getting to be summer, end of summer here. So I'm not sure the butterflies are going to work. However, they do match my ribbon. So maybe we do, like, we work them into our sugar plum fairy thing? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see where our creative brain takes us. So that's one set of stuff there. And then this is why I'm just like, this was great. So I found two, I think I only got two, yeah, two sets. Like these are maybe amber colored votive glasses, which literally still have their tags on them. So somebody paid $2 each for these. I paid $3 for the set, but I love that they have these kind of metallic leaves on them because if you if you haven't seen it yet, I made a really cool, I don't, Chris, I don't know, Christmas everything, Christmas tree, Christmas tablescape, and pencil tree, actually, um, last year, so Christmas 2020, that was very unique, and it was dark, kind of like midnight blue, navy blue-ish, um, with bronze and copper and champagne, and that was my Christmas colors, but this year, I'm going to transition that to my Thanksgiving vibe, and I thought these are going to make perfect additions to whatever tablescape I do, and especially with the little leaves. So I got another set, all still new, um, for $3 with, which I need votives anyways. And I figured these are clear and I can take the little leaves off when it's not uh, the appropriate season. But I thought these are just so cute. Um, and thankfully I have candles now for it. So... You're seeing, like, I'm not just buying to buy stuff. Like, I'm buying it because I'm inspired by it, and I really love it, and I have something in mind that it can go into. This is a piece of real silver that I got, and I took the label off the other day because I was going to use it for something in one of my uh, Galaxy Tablescapes. If you guys didn't see my Galaxy Tablescape, oh, my gosh, it might be my favorite one ever. 
Um, and I was going to use this in the middle, but I ended up not needing it. But it was only like, I want to say it was like two or three bucks or something. But I remember I Googled the, um, there's like a stamp in here. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can read it. Uh, yeah, Crescent Silver. I don't know. It might, like some of their stuff is worse stuff. Some of it isn't. Like I said, I'm not a reseller. So, um, but I bought it because... One, I thought I was going to use it my Galaxy Tablescape. And two, it's fairly uh, neutral in its shape and design. And I figured I could use it in a lot of other stuff. And I do like that because I'm not crazy about a lot of the filigree and all that type of vibe. Uh, so you can tell here we got some blue glass. So we'll get into that in a second. I mean, this was a dollar. It's the mesh tubing, but... I figured Halloween is coming, autumn is coming. I can use this. I almost considered, I bought this before I did my Christmas and July tablescape and I had this out while I was working on this table. And I thought about, you know, kind of sneaking this through there um, in that tree to just bring a pop of orange, but I didn't really like um, the thinness of this in there. So it didn't work out there. Uh, these I actually bought on, <laughs> I, you know it's serious when it's like a Goodwill clearance. But these were originally $2 at Goodwill. And they're these doorway curtains. So they're 70 inches long by 28 inches wide. Clearly never used. Um, somebody bought probably enough for like maybe a sliding glass door. But they were I think $2 each. But then they were the color of the week. And I know if your Goodwills do that, but ours do. And so, like, if it's, let's say, like, the color of the week is orange and you find something with an orange tag, it's 50% off. So, I ended up getting these for a dollar each, which I was stoked about. Um, I had planned on putting them on our porch, but then the more I looked at them, I was like, well, there's other stuff we could do with them. So, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if they'll end up on the porch or on something else, but I was really pleased with them. And then probably my favorite find so far, well, I don't know, I really like a lot of this stuff before being honest, is this set of four um, cobalt blue glass. So I got some small plates, which I think could be used as um, maybe dessert plates, but I love having small plates in different shapes and colors because as long as you have a nice, good set of white or neutral plate, whatever you want, like whatever your base plate is, if it's neutral, and I say that loosely, like it doesn't have to be completely plain, but like fairly neutral or whatever, you can completely transform your set by using accent salad plates, dessert plates like these, which are fairly easy, like eat. they're not that uncommon, I think, uh, in a Goodwill scenario that really pop and bring the table to life so you don't have to have like a fine dining set for this of Christmas like you don't have to if you don't want to or don't have the space to so and more importantly I love cobalt blue glass I have picked up several blue vases from Goodwill and um, tag sales over the years so I got a pair of glasses which again I don't know if I normally would have paid five dollars for them but I figured at a dollar and, you know, a dollar and a quarter or whatever each, that's really not that bad. And um, I love the cobalt. So I couldn't find any obvious tags on them where they were from. So it, for all I know, it's probably like random, like Ikea sort of for whatever. But they're not, you know, I'm not using them every day. And they're going to work perfectly, I think, potentially into this Christmas and July tablescape that I'm working on. So if you haven't checked that out already, uh, make sure you check it out. It's uh, it's gonna it's going really well so far. So you guys, this has been a really long video, but I had to share with you my haul. And like I said, there's stuff from the thrift store. There's here stuff from Goodwill. There's stuff from, or I guess the thrift store and Goodwill are one and the same. But thrift store trash picking. Uh, clearance section. I mean, we got all the good stuff here and this is stuff that I'm going to use and the stuff in the garage, some of the stuff is going to be donated to people who can use it, to kids who can use it. Um, but I don't see a lot of content out there being made for people who are trash picking, thrift store hunting for home use. There's a lot of stuff for 
resale or whatever, which I'm not really into. So I hope if you guys are interested in seeing more of my hauls like this, um, like I said, there's a lot of these like little bits here and there over time that kind of I just pulled together to share you with you um, over the last month or two. So let me know if you enjoyed watching this content. Uh, I'm probably going to be making these fairly regularly as I have actual hauls to share. But if you want to see more information or um, different angles, whatever, let me know. and I'll keep that in mind in the future. Um, but now, in the future, if you're seeing my home decor or my table decor or seasonal decor or whatever, you're going to see some of these pieces and you're going to be like, I know she got that out of the trash. And I'm not mad about it. And so I hope you guys take a second look at maybe trash day in your neighborhood, take the dog for a walk and just, you know, anything that's out in the open, take a look. But be polite. If you open a trash bag, tie it back up. Don't be that neighbor. All right, guys. I think I've shared enough with you. I gotta go. Puppies are hyped up. 